took some doing, but now is our chance to face off against Nemesis. All right, is this is it? I'm scared. I'm scared to fight this guy. <laughs> King of Liberation. Come on, hit him. Two times. Come on, go for it. That is all. Set is hitting 45. God damn. You haven't withered away just yet. You're a scary motherfucker. One more. I fought and won. 45, 45. We're gonna do this. Ah, he's up with like one HP. I'm not there yet. Yeah, it's close. Oh, Vantage was so close to hitting. I aim for greatness. What's my strategy? Me. Nothing? They're not moving? Bunch of weirdos. Okay, I gotta gather everybody up. Everybody with a hero's relic, come forward now. This is a special service announcement. That was disappointing to look at. Thanks. Can I do it in one shot though? That's the that's the problem. I gotta get held over here too. I need her uh her and her big ass axe. Was, was. We need healing. Did the trick. Ah, he's so close. Fucking so close to hitting him. All right, I'm gonna have to do this. Gonna have to surround his ass. He's not attacking me. Oh, well, I'm not in range, that's why. Oh, 
Ah, oh, that's tough. Even sublime heaven. Ah, oh, that'll do something. Mm. Take that! <laughs> I'll use this power for the greater good. Oh no! He's surrounded by a fucking rock. Two rocks. Oh no. I can't attack it from the sides. Counter. That's gonna reach. Nice dodge, Claude. He's just gonna go after me. Interesting. I wonder. Oh, I gotta heal myself. Thank you. If he had three more HP, Sedith would have been able to take two hits from him. Who's he gonna go after? He's going after fucking... Oh god, now his troops are moving. <laughs> Shit. That's tough. Damn it, I wanted Hilda to get a hit in. Be careful. Oh, he left his post. What an idiot. 46 damage, 97%. She could take the hit. I'm fucking risking this shit. About them. Next try. I'll make up for the setback. Twenty three, that's a good amount. But she's gonna die if she gets hit. Ah, 
aren't too kind. Such a stalemate, man. He has 107 HP. That 20, 29 Hades, but Jesus Christ, man, I'm gonna kill her like three times over. Shall we? Oh, I, that's right. The um, I should try. Yeah, that's a lot better. Holy crap, that's a weight. That's a lot better using the hero's relics abilities. I might as well use them now. There's no point in not uh, point in waiting. Come on. Good job, Hilda. He couldn't even attack back. Get him. I'm hurt, but I'm with you. these guys Damn, advantage is always scaring the hell out of me. <laughs> I shall not stray. Forty six HP. Thirty's down to thirteen. Ends it. GG. <laughs> GG. <sighs> For the freedom of Odin. That one seemed to work. We're almost done. Let's go, my friend. You're weak. You are a foolish child. Tough talk from the guy who's lived too long. Allow me to fix that. <laughs> God damn it, watch out. <laughs> oh, he's being so annoying with the zeros. You are all pathetic weaklings. You lack the courage to challenge me in low combat. Yet we have the strength to scale the walls between us. To reach out our hands in friendship, 
so we can open our true hearts to one another. That's how we win! Beautiful shot, Claude. And I am Claude. Future historians will refer to this day as the new dawn of Fodlan. Nobody that, died. I have no doubt. It's up to you now, Teach. As for my path... A rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fodlin. The ambitions of the fell king Nemesis were crushed averting what could have been the greatest crisis in the history of Fodlan. After five and a half years of war, a new age was set to begin. Country, faith, history, all that had once formed the order of the world was wiped clean. The heroes whose very hand saved Fodlan from a dark fate commenced with the building of a new society. <laughs> it's Claude. <laughs> you shall look the at this paper. The leaders of this new unified Fodlan Began their See walk here? Down a seemingly this means path. equality. One towards a world that would cherish differences in race and belief. One where all life would be valued equally. Those leaders clung to the hope that their path would not end with Fodlan, that it would someday span the seas to Dagda and beyond the throat to Almira. <laughs> the shirt, my shirt, what it said there. <laughs> Company shirt. Surprisingly, this is a company shirt. You're late. Did you intend to keep me waiting for so long? Well, I mean, I. I, I have trouble. I just fucking killed this fucking guy named Nemesis. You ever heard of him? Yes, I suppose your position is rather demanding. But you really must get your priorities in order. The moment has come. All these years of research shall finally bear fruit. <laughs> <clears throat> but first, a request. You must marry me. What? I've given this quite a bit of thought. It satisfies me to have come up with a way to be with you always. For the ruler of the new unified Fodlan to become my personal attendant might seem a step down. She proposed to me? Wow, that never, that never happened. Zzz. However, if we were to be wed, you would have to stay close to me. What? This... A perfect plan, wouldn't you agree? Was I unclear? I want us to be together for life. That is the definition of marriage. My love for you won't stand for anything less. <laughs> Scared Pikachu face. <laughs> you came prepared with a ring. Which means we think alike already. We were destined to be together. Seems that way. Coincidence. And it is together that we shall work to restore House Nouvelle. You have no issue with living on House Nouvelle's former land, I trust? 
Or would it pose difficulties for one in your position to move to the western edge of Fodlin? Ah, uh, but that is a detail which can be settled later. Let us act now on what matters. What are you doing? Pardon my intrusion, but something alarming has happened. It seems to have started around the Goddess Tower, but it's spread throughout the cathedral now. A wave of flowers is... Oh, uh, please excuse me. I can see you're busy. It is my fiancé's magic at work. Ah, I should have realized. Yeah, you heard Your right. Magic? Your fiancé? <laughs> Since when were you engaged? His fiancé? Oh shit, she's blushing. Well, congratulations in that case. If that's all this is, then I'll let the others know to stand down. My dearest, you must warn me next time before tossing around such charged language. <laughs> What you called me? Oh, I'm all a flutter. I can't tell whether this is delight or embarrassment. Regardless, Shoot. I shall consider it to be fair play. I haven't felt my spirits lifted so since the last time I made a breakthrough in my research. Hmm? Oh, do you suppose that piece of spellcraft will suffice to see my house restored? It surely qualifies as a grand achievement. You just made flowers everywhere. One that shall go down in history. As for what other purpose it might serve, I leave that up to you. You won't object to that, I take it. After all, you can't refuse a request from your darling fiance. <laughs> I think that was a good choice. That was a good choice. Battle data. Oh my god. Part one. White clouds, the inevitable counter. White clouds, three houses. Battle of Eagle and Lion. All right. We're done. That concludes this, the the golden deer route. We should be get. I should be getting uh, epilogues of the uh, of of the whole cast. Anyone who survives who doesn't die gets a uh, gets a uh, gets an epilogue. I mean, who, who have I married in the previous ma uh, playthroughs? I've married... Petra was my first married S rank. And then the second one was Lysithia. Yeah, I think that's, that's how it went. With Lysithia, we figure... She figures out... Spoilers, if you, uh... Anyone watching who didn't... Who wants to... S rank and Lysithia... We figure out a way to uh, take the crest out of her uh, out of her uh, s body, so she she uh, lengthens her uh, lifespan. Petra, I, I forget what happens. I think I just go to her with Bridget and Bridget. God damn, I'm the MVP like with the last five missions. <laughs> Anna's business savvy proved to be a great asset in the post-work reconstruction of Garrick Mach. Once the restoration was complete, she disappeared from the area entirely. The tales of a mysterious merchant were passed down in every corner of the world for centuries to come. Some say, fuck. But 
Manuela left to build <clears throat> her own academy, a small war and torn town. She contributed heavily to rebuilding efforts while teaching future generations the necessary skill of survival. She's never married or had children of her own. She spent the last few of her years happily devoted to her students. That's good. Hanuman's goal remain unwavering to determine the working to the crest to do with the inequality caused by them. To that end, his research resulted in magical tools that could be used without the aid of crest. This proved to be yet another world for all discovery by the father of Christology. After figure she just disappears, yeah. She's a mercenary after all. Though she was never heard from again, rumors swirled persistently for years of a master archer turned thief who lined her pocket, shaking down all those who preyed upon the innocent. Catherine left the night to Sarah to set on a travel across Frozen. With Thunderbend in hand, she wandered the countryside. Raphael returned to his home and had to serve as liege lord as a knight. After years of loyal service, he resigned his duty to devote his attention to the inn that his grandfather and his sister opened during his time away. Eventually, he became an inn's proprietor and developed a reputation. I gotta read faster. The game is uh, blasting me right now because I'm not reading fast enough. Soon after the royal Lawrence assumed leadership over the House Coster and helped govern Poland as a representative of the old alliance lords. His political talents yielded revolutionary policy changes, many of which were particularly benefit to the common folk. <laughs> Once all the fighting had come to an end, Alois officially took the position captains of the Knights of Saros. It was said that his compliments during the tenure were beyond even what Gerald's troops have achieved. For Gerald! Marian returned home to a hero's welcome. The people praised her talent and acknowledged her savior as the Fulton. Her adoptive father groomed her as a successor, teaching her the power of words over weapons. By the time she claimed her inheritance, she had transformed into one of Fulton's most skilled orators. When Galatea territory was seized, Ingrid argued strongly for the pres preservations of his borders. Her request was granted as she was appointed to rule. From her new position, she gave all to ensure the people of Galatea lived peaceful lives and put in years of hard work to reform its farming practices. Where exactly she went was unknown. Some say she returned her homeland to a quiet life. Others speculate she assumed a new identity in the underworld beneath Garrick Mock. They were defeated by a mysterious woman. Wow. So she killed the remnants of them. Of the those who stood in the dark. Alright. While well, Flame disappeared soon after the world set of state at the monastery to work on uh, to restore the authority of the church and Seraph, doing away with the old strictness, he adopted a tolerant stance. Tolerant stance toward all, and encouraged his followers to do the same. When he, when he was satisfied that the message was received, he vanished from the monastery. Several years, centuries later, a man and a woman in ancient attire emerged to a fold land that had drastically... Fuck! I gotta read faster. Petra returned to her homeland of Bridget and inherited the throne from her grandfather. As a ruler, she declared the independence from Fodland and renegotiated Bridget's diplomatic ties with Fodland and Dagda on a more equal terms. On a step along the way, she accomplished supporters by her husband, Ignatz, they married! <laughs> I was- I just got- I, I just got stopped there. I'm like, they got married! Leone, Leone joined up the mercenaries formerly led by Gerald. As his greatest apprentice, she quickly took on the leadership role that eventually inherited the title Bladebreaker. Mm. 
No way! Her struggle with anxiety made it difficult for her to take over the head of House Varley. She became so overwhelmed that Yuri chanced to visit her domain. She literally grabbed hold of him and refused to let go. Baffling as it was for Yuri, this particular state of affairs eventually led to marriage. The common folk were initially perplexed, but over the years became grateful for Count Varley's surprised husband. His presence kept calm and allowed her to deal with people more frequently and easily. As a result, the talent for governors blossomed. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Even after the war, skirmishes continued to break out of Fordland, learning that there were still places where he could fight. Felix abandoned his noble title and chose to make a living in with his sword. He traveled the land and some years later found himself in Embar. There he encountered Dorothea again, where he had just resumed his career, her career as a, a songstress. From the time, no matter how far Felix traveled, he always found himself drawn back to the opera's house. It is said that- Ah, oh, wow! Lysithia about this? That's uh, securing the aid of his husband and younger brother. I should be snap screenshotting these. Oh my god. He left for our Myro. His family saw that he had grown strong and allowed him to claim his birthright. He made an surprise announcement that would make Hilda his queen. That's good. United Kingdom of Fodlin. <laughs> And who would threaten Constance? I will kill them. I will kill every single one of them. I think it has to do with the assist, their, I'm sorry, their support levels with each other. Because after it hits A, it still keeps going. Like, it's, it doesn't... Like, there's definitely some influence. What a game. God, that took longer than I expected. I had uh, I have like five hour streams in 19. Let me see if I can do the math. If every stream was five hours. Ninety-five hours in this game. This just this route alone. It's insane.
Yep, it's finally over. So, yep, Horizon Zero Dawn or er, Forbidden West will be next. It's gonna feel so weird just going straight into another game. Oh. I don't know. Should I, sh should I just go straight into the Black Eagles run? Should I just go straight into Black Eagles? I know I'm going to do that too. I'm going to be playing that. Thankfully, it's a shorter route. I don't know if there's a post credit scene or not, but I'm just going to wait the whole thing through. Plus, this, this, this song's a jammer. Heartbeat as a th as a beat, like that's fucking amazing. That's actually that actually uh, that's actually foreshadowing. But yeah, honestly, this overall. I still think this is one of my favorite games. Honestly, this was 90 hour fucking journey, man. I gave what I gave Horizon Zero Dawn. I think I gave Horizon Zero Dawn like an eight out of ten. I give this like a nine and a nine. If you like this style of game, it's like a nine and a half easily. Claude's route, I feel like after doing uh, the other other what was it? The church route and ghetto guards route? I feel like Claude's route is like the route you're supposed to do last. Because like, you weren't, as as of me first time playing uh, the Golden Deer route, I was like also out of the, left out of the loop for most of the um, end, like ha last second half of the game. But then like when you play the other routes, like things tie together. Things, a lot of things start tying even more together. And like Claude doesn't, I feel like Claude... He really did need the professors persuading from the other nobles in the, in the Alliance because the Alliance uh, lords are all like church... Uh, they're, they're religious. Claude wouldn't be able to... Uh, uh, Claude isn't able to, to, to... He wouldn't be able to do that without, without me. So I think... Alright, so... The only faults I would give this game is probably Edelgard's short, uh, route being shorter. Switch's hardware cannot keep up with this game. This game has such huge ambitions and a uh, Switch can <laughs> barely handle it as is. Like that's that's the only shortcomings I feel like. Everything else is so in depth. Like I can't I can't fault anything else. I really I don't know. I really can't. But yeah, this is easily like top 20 game for me. This is my favorite Fire Emblem for sure. Shintaro Furuwaka. Furukawa. Furukawa. I think this plays in the ball or in the dance uh, competition, which I gotta do. I gotta remember to do that. In the Edelgard, I, I always I, I've downloaded only done it once. <laughs> 